Who are you in this vast multiverse? Welcome back to Sacred 369. Toltec Wisdom. One. Be impeccable with your word. Speak with integrity. Say only what you mean. Avoid using the word to speak against yourself or to gossip about others. Use the power of your word in the direction of truth and love. Two, don't take anything personally. Nothing others do is because of you. What others say and do is a projection of their own reality, their own dream. When you are immune to the opinions and actions of others, you won't be the victim of needless suffering. Three, don't make assumptions. Find the courage to ask questions and to express what you really want. Communicate with others as clearly as you can to avoid misunderstandings, sadness, and drama. With just this one agreement, you can completely transform your life. Four, your best is going to change from moment to moment. It will be different when you are healthy as opposed to sick. Under any circumstance, simply do your best and you will avoid self-judgment, self-abuse, and regret. Five, you can have many great ideas in your head, but what makes the difference is the action. Without action upon an idea, there will be no manifestation, no results, and no reward. Six. How can I know you if I don't know myself? Seven. Life can be a process of observing what we are interfering with rather than interfering with what we are observing. 8. You never leave yourself as an impression upon the world. The world always leaves its impression upon your silence. This is how we travel as seers, upon this feather-light touch. 9. The most profound state of awareness comes from being devoted to your present circumstances absorbing the sorrows and joys of others so that you may see yourself within them, which in actuality is you. 10. Embodying recapitulation as a practical application to one's path means not living the way you used to live and being so completely in the moment that you are lost to yourself. 10. What you are seeing and hearing right now is nothing but a dream. You are dreaming right now, in this moment. You are dreaming with the brain awake. 11. We can intend not to be our program. 12. When a not doing comes upon you, and there is no reflection of yourself to be found, many things can and will be related back to you as knowledge yet you have no way of knowing how you assimilated that wisdom. 13. We are responsible. There is nothing being done to us apart from what we are doing to ourselves. 14. When you consider your dreaming explorations and where you may be pulled within those journeys, be aware that your daytime actions also bring consequences to alternate realms, and that there are beings who will actively waylay your voyaging awareness. To be waylaid is to waste one's life and one's time. Thank you for listening. Sacred 369. Who are you in this vast multiverse?